Galactic Federation Conclusions Hello again, thank you for joining me. I'm Marie Swaru. After several videos about the Galactic Federation, we can draw some conclusions, although there will always be more data to consider, and therefore more future videos, perhaps. Being up here doesn't mean I know everything that is going on, but at least I do have a different, if not better perspective of someone strictly only on Earth. This is an extremely complicated subject, but these are the things we can conclude so far. Most of what is published on Earth in countless New Age YouTube channels, books, and magazines, is a distorted version of the true characteristics of the Galactic Federation, also called the United Federation of Planets. Because they all tend to mix entities and light beings in very high planes of existence, and in the etheric realms, with the physical federation, made up of people who are basically in the same plane of existence as everyone else on Earth, only being or pertaining to a different race, or star race, although in a slightly higher vibratory state, many call 5D. The beings in the physical inside the Federation are also having an experience within a material body, and therefore are limited in their perception, as many humans are as well. Although levels of perception, awareness and densities are achieved by expanding the mind only, so I must stress out that being on Earth, and having a human experience is in no way a limitation or a reason not to be as advanced and mind-expanded as any other star race, on Earth, or not. Although we must all be aware that a different kind of body, especially the non-human looking ones, will also have a different range of perception its five senses, or any number of them each species might have and with that it will perceive its world and surroundings in a different way than how we do as Lyrians, or humans. For those of you who may be new to my channel, Lyrians are the base star race from where all the others with human appearance come from, including humans, they come from planet Lyra orbiting the star Vega, in the Lyra constellation. A simpler way to call all the groups of human-looking star races, is simply, space humans, but this name will only be understood by people who have a lot to do with Earth or that are on Earth already. Although we are all being guided by light beings all the time, and this includes all those Galactic Federation representatives in physical bodies and that are nothing more than just more politicians, the responsibility to guide Earth and everything that goes on inside it, does fall on them directly as their responsibility. I know all those Federation politicians insist that who is truly guiding Earth, is the people of Earth themselves, while being guided by light beings in higher planes of existence, beings that may, or may not be the higher self of each person on Earth, and who is manifesting all that reality for themselves and collectively as well. This is a comfortable position, or excuse, to be used by those Federation representatives who undoubtable could help the people of Earth to manifest a much better reality for them all, even though they claim not to be able to help more. Although on Earth many people mix the physical Federation with the one in higher planes of existence, the Galactic Federation as such, is only an organization in the physical and made up of beings in the physical because light beings and entities in higher planes don't call themselves a federation, and they would have no need for any such organization. Any guidance light beings and entities in higher realms can give the people of Earth, is one thing, and how the Galactic Federation guides humans, is another thing. Although there would be intervention of those beings over Federation representatives making decisions over what is happening on Earth. There is no space war going on around Earth, there simply is no evidence of it, there are no invading races near Earth either, contrary to what many contactees say, so all the schism and all the conflict is happening only there on Earth. All the social world, all the earth matrix and everything happening inside it is being manifested by the human mind, including much of how the galactic federation is perceived there, 
because it is loaded with a lot of religious concepts that simply don't add up, and do not reflect the objective federation as seen from the perspective of someone that does not fall for that religious influence. It is known that many religious organizations are controlling new age groups and the entire movement in their favor, and as a tool to control the masses, and the Galactic Federation as a concept, is one of their preferred tools, as it used to give the sector of the population who believes in extraterrestrials some sense of hope so they will conform with the system they want to impose on them. Human society is under the control of their own creations, in the form of invasive governments and secret societies that have been manifested by the population itself, as the result of having concentrated their attention on their fears and their worst nightmares, with it resulting in more of that being manifested. The people in power, politicians, members of the cabal and their secret societies can only retain their power if the mass of the human population keep on thinking they are necessary in any way. They depend on the population at large to even exist, and if the vast majority of humans on earth cease to obey their orders and to give them their creative attention, they cannot retain their control over the population. From the perspective of the higher self, from the point of view of a soul in the ethereal realms, suffering is not seen as something entirely bad as it is only means to achieve more expansion accentuating all forms of contrast but at the expense of that same soul's limited experience while in the physical, where even if the material world is illusory, its experience is of hardship, and of much suffering. Also pointing out that as the same soul does not hold the same point of attention as when it is in the higher realms, it cannot be seen as the same person, because it has two points of attention, one on the physical and another in the ethereal realms therefore concluding that they are indeed two persons, therefore the one in the ethereal realms would only be cruelly exploiting the one in the physical. This, even if the soul from the higher realms of existence may see the point of attention in the physical as more of itself, because its consciousness and awareness is expanded enough to include the physical point of view as well, but that same soul while in a living body can only see its own limited point of attention. There are restrictions so humans cannot manifest nice things on earth, because the beings outside want them to have a terrible experience while in the physical, in order to supposedly gain experience and contrast in the name of soul expansion. The Federation not intervening with this can only be seen as criminal negligence. These are only a few conclusions, and more will come out as we go along. Thank you very much for listening to me. Until next time. With much love. Marie Soiru.